Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong, and I've got my current journal project out on the desk. I wanted to, as I said I would do, turn the camera on for all of these videos. We have the cover just as we left it last time. We've got this beautiful lace on the inside, which came from an antique dress. We've distressed up the front and the back. I've got the watch pieces uh, stitched into place so that they're not going to move. We may add some more distressing around her. I don't know yet. Some little details I'm not sure about. And I've been thinking about how I want to uh, bind the signatures in. And as we've already talked about, each signature is going to have just the two pages. And I am seriously thinking about resting some more safety pins to put these signatures in. I think it would totally fit with the, the theme of like a shipwreck and being lost on an island. So, and she's the lost girl, remember. So um, this is just one signature that I have at this point. I went ahead and sewed that little circle on. I can't remember if you've seen that. We've got more we're gonna add to this. One of the things that I made to go with this journal is this little, uh, Okay, so I don't even know what these are. Well, I know that they're round glass pieces. This might be loud, so let me stop talking. Okay, so I found these in a thrift store. These glass rounds, one inch glass circle. So there were eight pieces in here. You can see they're stacked on top of each other. And then at a different point in time, I found these, these one inch round, these might be game pieces or something, but it just lined up perfectly. And I thought, how amazing would it be to glue a picture under the glass and then take a bail and glue it on the back and you would have a pendant. Now, I don't know how this would hang on a chain around the neck. It might be, I don't know if it's out of balance because this part's kind of heavy, but I love this old image inside and we're pretending like this is the girl. There is kind of a resemblance there, oddly enough, the length of the hair and the face, the mouth. So this is going to be like a uh, piece of jewelry or a locket or a trinket or whatever that has her image in it. Anyway, we have these. That's another thing that I've created that I didn't do on camera. I wasn't even sure that that was going to be for the journal, but then once I made it, and saw how it looked. I said, well, yeah, that's perfect. I do have some pretty napkins that I want to incorporate into this book. This one's kind of scary, but you know, you can imagine on an island, you might find a skull. I doubt you're gonna find a skull with a top hat, so we will save that for Halloween. Uh, but then I can only imagine the beautiful uh, wildlife that you might see on a tropical island, even if there are no people there. And I can imagine how beautiful and undisturbed it would be. So I do have some napkins that I wanna use. Um, let me show you this stack of papers I found. Yes, I found all of these. Uh, these were at a thrift store. And obviously someone had been grunging up some papers and just doing all sorts of marks and stuff. I don't know if this was gonna be for a journal I have no idea who this came from, but I thought maybe a few of these pieces to incorporate into the book would be nice because, you know, maybe she would use things she could find to, to mark certain things or to draw images or whatever, like very primitive marks. Uh, that looks like somebody used lace to put patterns on, on stuff. I don't know who donated all of these. I want to say these came from the scrap exchange when I was there because either that or reconsidered goods. I was tempted to go to reconsidered goods today for my um, birthday, but I decided to just take a nap here and rest and play out in the workshop for a little bit. Look at all these. I mean, this was just, and they don't weigh that much. So at these stores where they weigh the papers, these are really light. This is like uh, packaging paper and old pieces of music and stuff. So somebody made all this and then here it is. 
pretty interesting and that looks like it's stamped from some sort of flower it reminds me almost of the top of a lotus seed I'm not sure that that's what that would be that's too small but it has that look so i will pull out the things hmm that's got this pretty flower on it we will pull out some things that we could use in this book maybe this for mark making like maybe counting the days or the weeks or something I don't know. I'll, I will go through this stack, but I did want to take a couple of pieces of this. And why don't we focus for a minute on getting the um, two different things. Let's focus on two different things. These are the strips that I'm going to use to put the signatures in. And I think I want to put these under. I think I want these under the fabric that's going to be on the inside. So what I would do... Let's get a piece of paper because we know it's perfectly a perfectly straight edge. And I'm gonna bring my book, the cover, and both covers to the bottom of this paper. And then line it up perfectly straight. Let me get my, my ruler. I'm probably gonna put a Hmm, I was thinking about a two inch spine, but maybe I want three. That's going to give me more room to play and put these beautiful fabric pieces in and actually tell a story. So that would be a three inch spine. And we've got everything lined up. You know, nothing's going to be perfect, especially because I'm going to be carrying this over to the sewing machine and sewing the signatures onto these strips. Or, I uh, know I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to be pinning those in with safety pins so we can be a little bit more precise. Um, sometimes with a sewing machine, even when you think you're getting them straight, it's kind of difficult to take it to the sewing machine and get it completely straight. So let's go ahead and add, let's put some glue right here. I think that's where we were. And right here. And where is my little glue brush? I'll make sure these are straight again. I can see I'm moving them around a little bit. Nope, put that back there. Lay that down. That looks pretty good. And then this other strip, we're going to put about the same distance from the top. And I'm not going to try to spread this glue around. So I'll just end up moving the book pages. And we want plenty of glue because we don't want these just tearing right out. And we're going to be gluing fabric over the top of this as well. So I think it's going to be firmly in place. And let me take my ruler one more time and look and make sure. So that's three inches. Okay, this I think needs to come over a tiny bit here. I think that is pretty much right on the money. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And we're going to let this dry. I'm going to carefully, well, you know what? Wait, let's think about this for a second. I've already cut this piece of fabric that's going to go in the front. I am going to go press it. I've got the iron heating up already. I don't know. Do I want this one or do I want the flowers on the inside cover? We could put this one in the back. And I'm not going to glue over that lace. I'm just not going to try to do that. So I cut it to go next to the lace. Maybe we'll put that in the back. I'm going to go trim. I need to trim a little bit more off of that edge. Okay. 
Okay, let's put some more glue on. We don't need to go over into this area because as you can see, the lace doesn't come all the way in there. Trying to make sure that I get glue underneath these fabric strips wherever I missed a spot. And really just get it all over the place. And if we need to come back and put some under the edges, you can do that. But you know, you can't come all the way back to the center. So I'm making sure I have plenty. And let's Put this down. Does it need to come up some? And it's okay with me if it feels a little bit wrinkled. We want this to feel old. And I am going to pull... I kind of want the edge of that fabric standing up next to the lace. I don't want it laying on top of the lace, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of molding it where I want it. And like I said, I'm okay if there's a, a few wrinkles in this because we want it to look worn and we may add some distressing too. Okay. So there's that side. And we need to, um, I don't want it stuck to the paper little bit of glue there. Let's move it down. So now I need to get a piece of fabric for here. And maybe I will put, where is it? It's over here. I did like these flowers so much. Especially that rose. I'm kind of feeling like, um, let's put that over there. And then we're going to have, needs to be about right. I don't, it doesn't tear very easily this way. But we may be able to unravel it some. And I'll go press this one as well. Let's just go up tiny bit more. And tear across there. I gotta go get that crease out. Yeah, so that's gonna unravel a little bit. So that's gonna be in the front. It's beautiful. Kim, I love this fabric so much. Okay. We want it to feel grungy, but we don't want it to look completely, like having a fold right in the center just would not look, not look like we want it to. So I just put some water on that and then pressed that wrinkle right out. I've been off work today. I had to go to the driver's license office to get my, um, license renewed because it expired today and i got up early this morning i thought yeah i'm just gonna get it done so i jumped up took a shower got dressed and went straight over there and i got seen really quickly which is it can be a miracle if if you know what the dmv is like but they were so good man the woman who who processed my request to get a renewal she was on fire she was so fast. She she wasn't playing. She knew exactly what she was doing. And that, you know, when you have people like that, that moves the line along. But I think she's been there for a long time. I think I remember seeing her years ago. And uh, at least in this state, you know, as you get older, you don't have to have, well, now I don't know once you become actually really old, whatever that means. I feel like I'm older. Um, I don't know how they change it though as as you age and they're worried more about vision and things like that but 
they, if you've been an experienced driver for a long time, they let you have your license longer without having to renew. So I think I've had my current license for eight years. So I haven't been in that office in years. And obviously I've changed a lot, I've aged. And this lady at the desk who took care of me, I think she was there eight years ago. I really do. So let me tell you, she knows her stuff. So this is gonna be the outside, which I really like. And we're gonna let this part dry. We're gonna let it dry. I'm not sure yet if I will add any kind of support to this outside part. You know, like if I'm gonna put anything in here and add fabric over that, I could and have it just come right to the edge. That might be cool. I don't know yet though, I don't know. This could just be the outside. So you can see if I pulled really hard, I'm gonna pull all that fabric away while it's wet. So we want that to really dry before we mess with it. And actually at this point anyway, we're on to making signatures. I will definitely grunge up this part of that book page because it's showing, or the back cover, I should say. I'll be putting my birdsong stamp on the outside on the back. Yeah, I like this so far. I really like it. So from the outside, you know, if I use safety pins, we're gonna be seeing parts of this fabric from the outside. You can see that, and then we'll have the safety pins showing. Very cool. Okay, I think I will stop for now. That's where we are at this point. And thank you so much for visiting, for hanging out. I will be back really soon. Uh, the flowers, several, I'll do a video on these, but you know what? It's so easy. I just take a strip of fabric. This is how I make all of my flowers. And I just start twisting it. And you see, I don't know if you could notice on that one, when I twisted the end, I pulled it in and left the edges up. So you can be purposeful about the way you do these if you want it to be like the center of a flower and you just keep twisting around and hold it into place. And that little edge ended up going back down in there. You can also, when you twist it, you twist that little edge and make sure it stays under, which is normally what I do. And I suppose you could hot glue these as you're going around. You just need to be really careful with your fingers. So see, that's a really pretty little flower. You can do it with cotton strips that are raveled. And as you twist them, part of the raveled edges are gonna be sticking up. So then I take it to the sewing machine and I have sewed two different ways. And I've seen others do this. Um, I do this, I've seen Sagita do this, Sagita Coffee Stains. I love her, her channel and her work. You can just make a little V shape to hold everything down because when you sew across, it's gonna add every, keep every layer in place, you know, and then when you go the other direction, that's gonna hold everything down. I have also done it to where I sewed in a circle and I have hot glued them before, which ends up you don't see any stitches at all. But again, you have to be careful with your fingers and it's tedious because you're kind of gluing as you're going. So, um, but the wrapping part, you know, I guess you could stitch these by hand too. You could just stitch as you as you go along. And they're all gonna be different because, you know, when you're making something handmade like this, it never turns out same the same any any two times. So that that's all that is to that. Uh, see you can see I just twisted real loose flowers and did quick I did V shapes on these. And the V-shapes almost get hidden, the stitches that you put, because they're gonna stand up like that. Okay, I will be back soon. Bye for now. I came out of the workshop and I have to admit this scared me a little bit. Hey baby. Because it's dark outside. And she was over in the shadows. So I couldn't really tell what was standing there. Hey baby. Okay, don't be scared. Also, Jason just pulled in. Bye, baby. Bye, baby.